Aerodynamics was fascinating to me, just the philosophy of aerodynamics, and that, that led me to aeronautics. And of course, the, the faster things go, the cooler it is. My name is Larry Clyatt. I'm an aerospace engineer at NASA Dryden Flight Research Center. I work in the research aerodynamics branch, doing mostly supersonic research on supersonic flight, uh, specifically sonic boom research. Sonic boom research is towards the ongoing effort to mitigate the sonic boom to allow over the land supersonic transportation for civilians. Both of my parents were in the Air Force, and as far as I can remember, the day my mom and dad brought me home a, a model, model toy replica of a B-2 bomber was the day I first got any interest in, in aeronautics or aerospace period. I became a graduate student at Georgia Tech and there decided to do a co-op rotation somewhere. The first place on my list, of course, was NASA. You know, everybody knows about this big centers, Johnson's, Kennedy's, and everything, but found out that there was a center that actually specifically did what I was wanting to do. My focus at the time was uh, high-speed aerodynamics, which is aeronautics, and, 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 and Dryden did just that. NASA Dryden, this is NASA Ground. I'd like to know whether you had any fuel left for uh, perhaps a Foxtrot run. Just this past year, I was a principal investigator for the Whisper Project on the community response tests for sonic booms. In that time frame, we tried to do a range of sonic booms. Not only in that range, but we also tried to start with you a little bit with some louder sonic booms. NASA 2, this is NASA Ground, heard boom on the ground. So it was really fulfilling to see it out, to see it to its end, and to see how successful it was. One of the things that brought me here is I wanted to be an innovator. And I think that nearly anybody that works at NASA kind of keeps their mind open to pursue goals and tasks that no other company is doing, no other agency is doing. So if you keep an open mind, and if you have the desire to work outside of the box, not just think outside the box, but to do things that literally no one else is doing, and I think that's important.